Mission for Life is an innovative, exciting mission fund that covers the whole of the Northern Synod for the United Reformed Church. Mission for Life is a new way of meeting the challenge of the Northern Synod vision that looks for churches to be lively, informed and effective in their local communities. Four of the partners already supported are North Northumberland Rural Advisor. Well today is the culmination of uh, a week's walk along St Cuthbert's Way and uh, it's 62 miles of pilgrimage um, sharing uh, Lots of memories uh, of St Cuthbert, recorded by Bede and others along the way, and thinking about pilgrimage um, in a modern day setting, really. The advisor encourages rural churches in new ways of working and being church, often in partnership. Um, you have to look beyond your immediate village very often and network if, if you're doing youth work or other projects with people across the region and that can be seen in lots of aspects of my rural ministry. This is a special category ministry financed centrally from the Mission and Ministry Fund. A small little congregation at uh, St Cuthbert's at North Sunderland have actually put together a, a moving pictures uh, cinema project and that's a mobile cinema. All partners in mission depend on people. Northern Synod. 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 As far as we're concerned the Northern Synod has been a huge help in both setting up our project and providing the funding to run it. Grindon is an estate on the south side of Sunderland where the small church has maintained a presence through often difficult times. At Grindon we have a church related community worker and the bulk of that funding comes direct from the Synod itself and it just enables us, enables us to do things that we find impossible otherwise. Well, today we've brought the Grindon Family Zone down to Newbigin Beach for a low cost, no cost, cheap family day out. We're a wider community. We're not just on the estate of Grindon where the church is based. Some of the families have come from Pallion, Pennywell, and neighbouring estates. And we're all come because of the activities and the inclusion that we have. Nobody's judged. It doesn't matter what your ability is, what your pocket is. At the end of the day, that's not what we're there for. We're there to make everybody feel good and be part of something as a whole and to have a good time in a safe environment. Because the church is very small and it's in an estate um, where there aren't very many facilities, particularly for younger people. The CRCW project has brought together a wide range of community groups and has played a leading part in developing a sense of community that is bringing back pride in the area. I mean, without the work that Helen and Helen Sinclair and the Grindon Church Project have done, a lot of these people wouldn't speak to each other, they wouldn't see each other, other than dropping the kids off to school. Side to sea, side, side to sea. Newcastle City Centre Chaplaincy. The chaplaincy established originally by the four big denominations in the town, the United Reformed Church, the Roman Catholic Church, the Church of England, and also the Methodist Church, and they've supported it for many, many years now, and they've supported that as an input from their finances, but also their chaplains come from it. We have a, a team of chaplains, men, women, of various ages, that come from those churches. This ecumenical chaplaincy, which is supported through an annual grant, works at the heart of the commercial and cultural life of Newcastle, bringing together a great variety of individuals who have a common concern for the good of the city. We have a, a homeless drop-in for the homeless in the city that the chaplaincy supports. But also as Christians, we're people of action, and so we decided as part of that we'd make projects, some of the little projects that we see arise. And one of the ones, for example, was young girls who are young prostitutes, and we set up a little group for them to support and encourage each other and show our care for them. And they've moved on and they've set up their own project now. The hope is that churches may support Mission for Life financially, but also the partners in mission through prayer and receiving information about them. When they get on the island, 
um, we're going to uh, wash their feet. Uh, that's really just a, a domestic thing, really. It's not, it doesn't have huge religious significance. Holy Island, St Cuthbert's Centre. They're going to go into St Cuthbert's Centre, which is the URC uh, centre on the island for retreats and quiet days and group work and stuff like that. Seen by some as the jewel and the crown of Northern Synod, this mission project reaches out to the whole of the United Reformed Church as a place to allow individuals and groups to develop a spirituality for today. The project, from its beginning, has depended on gifts and grant aid. A lot of people do come for the spirituality, for pilgrimage, to uh, walk closer to God. A lot of people use St Cuthbert's uh, for that reason. They're seeking a deepening of their faith and they're seeking something that'll sustain them in their busy life as they, uh, when they go back home.